good evening friends uh, so honorable minister uh, distinguished guests and my dear friends i would uh, invite all of you on behalf of hcl to join hcl uh, in helping us digitize the smes in the west bengal uh, so i am going to talk about the sme structure within the state of west bengal what are the opportunities there uh, what kind of pain points they are having uh, and how hcl can help them in digitizing and also we would also be sharing with the uh, partners in terms of how they can work together with hcl and help in this revolution so this is just giving you a snapshot of the msme uh, overall msme industry uh, overall they play a quite a bigger role in overall industrial economy unlike to uh, what all we perceive they are accounting for 39% of the entire manufacturing output of the country which is a huge contribution none of us would be expecting they are that big they account for about 33% of the total exports of the country and overall contribution to the gdp of the country is about 10% which is again substantially high uh, spending on the it is, is more than 30% of the total it expenditure though there is a lot of scope to further improve on that uh, they manufacture more than 6000 products across various product categories and finally uh, based on the thrust which is given by the different state governments we are likely to see a growth of double digit figures in the next 4 to 5 years now what are the key challenges the smes are facing uh, in terms of ict adoption and uh, how we can actually help them in doing that first and foremost is uh, because they are smes the size of the companies are pretty small so there is a lack of access to affordable finance and also adequate finance so one is the process of how to get loans and then the quantum of loan what they can get from the banks and various financial institutions because of the size of the companies there is very low investment in r&d and this labor is also primarily unskilled labor also uh, there is a total lack of uh, access to technologies and product innovation because they are focusing more on the core area of business rather than investing money in terms of the r&d or taking uh, hiring people who are technically quite mature and the structure is primarily a, a owner driven company uh, with uh, they may have a finance person or admin person and then the host of workers and the lower level people so the structure is highly fragmented they don't follow a very typical organized structure like any other organization and most important is about 94% of these companies are unregistered so that shows majority of these companies they are in the unorganized segment now if we look at uh, how the smes in west bengal uh, what is their snapshot uh, west bengal is accounting for the second largest number of sme units in the country and uh, they are employing about 6 million people in states there are 17 new sme clusters which are planned for the state and uh, there are significant reserves of natural resources available in the state and finally uh, there is about a huge investment of about uh, 145 billion which has been spent in the last 10 years spread over 2500 units so this is a snapshot of uh, how smes are placed in the state of west bengal Uh, and i think this will give a overview in terms of how big this market in the state of west bengal because it's the second largest uh, state in terms of number of sme units now what are the opportunities for it in the smb space or the sme sector as we call it if we look at uh, the overall pc industry uh, more than 42% of the pcs are sold to the sme segment uh, what we define as sme segment is all companies having employees up to 500 numbers and this is a definition by idc the international data corporation and i think universally this definition is used across uh, other opportunity for smes is a globalization uh, to improve the business efficiency uh, we as hcl did about three events in different clusters across the country and uh, we found out that uh, in uh, some of the segments like gems and jewelry leather uh, handicrafts more than 60 to 70% of smes are primarily into the export business i would also like to take this opportunity to share with the forum that uh, 
MSME, the Ministry of Small and Micro Industries, they have appointed five technology providers who will be pushing the ICT adoption within 50 clusters across the country and HCL is one of the five technology providers. So we are working very closely with the ministry and helping them how to do the ICT adoption. Uh, then uh, there are a lot of uh, affordable technologies which are available but SMBs needs to be taught about those technologies, how it can help them in improving the overall efficiency, overall productivity and how it can help them in a better ROI for them. So once this education to SMBs is actually done, then it is very easy uh, for us to convince the SMBs to adopt these new technologies. And uh, we see a uh, a rapid growth for PCs and the software products within this space. So this in turn was the opportunity what is available uh, for IT in the SMB space. Now what is there for the channel partners because I think the majority of the attend, uh, people uh, attending this seminar are more on the channel partners. So what is there for them? So uh, if you look at the channel partners, I think there is a very good saying. You must take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime during the lifetime of the opportunity. So this is a lifetime opportunity and I would invite all the channel partners to take benefit of this opportunity, work together with us and take benefit of this opportunity. What they can offer for the SMB market? One is provide a broader range of the offerings, the entire portfolio of the products. Also, they are fully equipped to fulfill all the requirements of the ICT because I think the, our channel partners who are here have been in this business for quite some time and they know all the nitty gritties of this business. They are able to provide both the hardware and the software solutions at a very low cost. Also, they are helping us in a big way in educating them uh, on the business solutions what are being offered to them. So now uh, how HCL is geared up for this kind of a lifetime opportunity and how uh, by engaging with HC HCL we all can uh, reap the benefits of this. HCL has been amongst the first to initiate the ICT manufacturing in the country. We are a 35 years old company. We complete the 35th year on 11th of August. Uh, we were the first com manufacturing company in India to be uh, given the ISO 14000 certification. Uh, we have a total of four production plants, uh, both in the spread over north and the south of the country, with an existing capacity of about two million per year, and the capacity can be enhanced depending on the requirements on the market. And we are also one of the largest manufacturing facilities. So we are the oldest. We have the amongst the largest facility also in the country. Now, if you look at HCL, what all we can do for uh, do together with you for SME. Uh, market. We are a multifaceted ICT organization uh, having the largest distribution and the retail network across the country. We are also amongst the largest service organizations in the country. We have a team of about 5,000 service engineers spread over more than 500 plus cities across the country. So we are covering almost 90% of the country with our own set of service engineers who are present. Uh, we are also one of the largest system integration organizations in the country. So we are present at the right place at the right time. So now we, how do we integrate together for the future? Now I come to uh, ECC, which is uh, the business division what I am representing. Uh, this is known as the enterprise commercial channel. And uh, this division is basically catering to the entire SME space and we cater to this segment only through the channel network. We don't enter these customers directly. So there's a huge opportunity available for all the channel partners to come and engage with us. We address the entire SMB segment, which is, uh, as it was mentioned by one of the speakers earlier, more than 2.6 million units are there in the country and we are addressing those segments. We are also a single stop shop for all your IT needs, which I will be covering in subsequent uh, slide in terms of what all we have.